What's up? And welcome to Abby's Ask Me Anything Travel Edition. I'm going to be walking you guys through my travel from Kunsan to Osan because today is a travel day for me and I promised a Ask Me Anything video for my people that follow me on Instagram. One of the first questions is, have you explained why the family couldn't join you to Korea? The reason why my family can't join me for my tour in Korea is because dependents are not allowed. The base doesn't necessarily have the services to support families. That's not saying that dependents can't come. I've seen spouses that have joined their military spouses here, but for us with the girl, it's not really a place for them to live. Currently, as you can see, I'm living in a dorm room, so where am I gonna fit two kids, my wife, and four dogs? I can't. They are currently still living in the States and waiting for me to come back home. I hope that that answers your question. And now it's time to head to the bus. Yeah, and you are the time of my life. Amaru, yeah. Did everything I said, but I did it all my way. Oh wow! Told you when you came my way, can nobody take your place? So I haven't done the best when it comes to vlogging and traveling, but I got to Osan Air Base, took a taxi to the main gate, and now I'm in this. I'll write it down below, but I'm in this district. Um, it's called an entertainment district, and my hotel is literally right in front of me. I just found it. How awesome is that? And there's a coffee shop. So. Let's get out of the cold before I get to your next question and grab a coffee. Five oh six. 
Do, do, do. Okay. Five, go two, one. Five, go five. Ah, it's blinking. What? That's so cool. Answer a couple more questions for you. Here we go. People keep asking me, what's my job in the Army? First, I'm not in the Army. I'm in the Air Force. And second, my job is Security Forces. Aside from missing your family while away, what has been the hardest part? Aside from missing my family, the hardest part has been being alone. And I know that kind of coincides with missing my family because, you know, but being alone has been the hardest part. Being okay with being alone is something that I'm constantly working through because I just want to be around people so much and I'm just used to that. I'm used to my family being around. The loneliness aspect of it. Um, do we plan on having more children? If you ask Jamie, it's gonna be a no. Uh, I would still like another child, but I don't know. I don't see it happening. Not with me being here for a year, us going to Germany. I just, I don't really see it in the cards for us right now. How are you handling being away from your family? Well, uh, I think because I was in the missile field, it kind of set me up for being used to being away from them because I would be away for days at a time. So that kind of set me up in a weird way uh, for it, but we're talking about an extended period of time and <clears throat> that is something that I'm still getting used to, uh, but Jamie constantly sends me pictures, videos, we call each other when we can, video, FaceTime. Sending videos is nice. The fact that my daughters each have their own cell phone is nice, so I can text them, send them videos, they can text me. Also, something else that's helped is the fact that we've already planned what we're gonna be doing for the summer together. So I have something, uh, not some things, some things, because we basically are doing two vacations in one. So I have two things to look forward to and I am so excited, so excited. More to come on that later. This next question was, is how long were you together before getting married? Jamie and I basically met March 2013. We were talking and like hanging out and you know, stuff like that. We didn't really make ourselves official until July of 2013. Then we got engaged October of 2013. And then we got married August of 2014. So to answer your question, we knew each other for, if you count from July to August, 13 months. Who's to tell you a time frame? Woo! Now I'm looking a little bare up there. Hi, have you seen same-sex couples out there? Is it frowned upon? Well, I actually haven't seen too many um, same-sex couples since I've been here. I do know of one couple that lives in Seoul here. They're called Let's Travel Together. I'm not gonna speak for their experience, but I do love that there is another queer couple out here. And I do have plans to meet up with them sometime in the future. And I can't wait for that because I need some queerness in my life. Uh, but as soon as I get a sense of how queerness is here from my own perspective, I will definitely let you know. This is a special shout out to my friend Jess who left this message. What do you miss most about Jess? Everything, girl. What is your favorite memory from last year? It's hard to wrap up so many amazing moments um, into one favorite moment. So I just, I don't have a good answer because I think of, you know, making charcuterie boards and hanging out the house with my friends. <clears throat> I think of going on camping trips with my family. I think of taking my family to Disney World. Um, just so many amazing moments last year 
that I'm obsessed with. So that's really, I don't have an answer for that one, but that's a tough one. Is what advice do you have for someone wanting to create content? If you want to create content, create it. That's, that's what I have learned and I'm still learning. Like just create it. So often we want to wait until it's perfect. I want to wait until it's perfect and the only way to learn how to get better is to just keep making content. So keep making content, keep experimenting, keep trying. That's the only way you're going to get better. How do you edit and put together your vlogs? I can use Premiere Pro. Uh, I pay, I think I pay like either 20 to 30 bucks a month for it. But that's what I used to edit my vlogs. And I also watch a ton of YouTube to kind of um, help me get inspired in what kind of story I'm trying to tell. There's so many different creatives out there that inspire me to do better, like Van Rives, Tyler and Todd. So many people out there that inspire me to create, you know, keep creating better stories. Do you miss cooking or can you cook in your hotel room? Well, as you saw this morning, I am out of my hotel room and into an actual dorm room. So I will be cooking in the next uh, upcoming weeks as I wait for my pots and pans to come in because I just, I just want me to have pots and pans. I am so excited. I can't wait to make so much food that I have to have it for leftovers for a couple days. So the first thing I'm gonna make is that TikTok pasta. I just gotta find all the ingredients. This is the last question by the way. What's your favorite place you've traveled? This is gonna be, some people might consider this kind of out, but the outdoors. Camping, hiking, snowboarding, anything. Just being in the outdoors, being outside, being active. I love it. I thrive on it. Woo! Decided to unbraid my hair and bring out the fro a little bit. I'm probably gonna regret this decision in the morning. But uh, yeah, I have no product, so my fro is looking a little depleted. But uh, <sighs> regardless, this is the end of this vlog, and stay tuned. Maybe I'll take you around tomorrow slash next week uh, and let you see what I get up to. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because that lets me know that you are liking what I'm creating and you want more of it. See you next week.